Welcome to the mathematics class of Mr. Larry Whittington. Stay tuned as Mr. Whit get on here today and speak to us about fractions. I hope you figure to understand what he gonna teach. Get your ink pen and your pencil out, your calculator, and get ready to learn something from Mr. Whittington, Fort Bend Tutoring. This is Larry Whittington, Mr. Whit with Fort Bend Tutoring. Today's tutorial is subtracting mixed numbers. That's right. So in problem number one, we have 16 and 7 eighths minus 5 and 3 eighths. I can't stand doing these problems horizontally, ladies and gentlemen. So I always write them vertically. I stack them. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite this as 16 and 7 eighths minus 5 and 3 eighths. All right, just like so. You want to make sure that your denominators and your fractions are identical. They need to be the same. You have to have a common denominator there. All right, and we do. So if that's the case, you can just go ahead and subtract. So 7 minus 3 gives me 4 over my denominator of 8. And 16 minus 5 is always 11. You're always responsible for simplifying your fractions, and you never leave an improper fraction in a mixed number, ladies and gentlemen. So, being as though 4 and 8 can both be divided by 4, we can simplify this. So, I'm going to show that I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. All right. So, this gives me 11, and 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, my result here is 11 and a half. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. You got it. Problem number 2 is coming up. In problem number two, we have nine and three fifths minus three and a half. The first thing you need to have is a common denominator. So what I'll be doing here is I'll be rewriting this, setting up my framework again with my whole numbers and making sure that my denominators are the first number that five and two can go into evenly, which is 10. So I have my denominators rewritten as 10 now. Now you need to create equivalent fractions. We do this by multiplying the numerator by the same exact number we had to multiply the denominator by. So 5 was multiplied 2 times to get 10, so 3 times 2 gives me 6. Then 2 was multiplied 5 times to get 10, so 1 times 5 is 5. Now that you have equivalent fractions with common denominators, you can go ahead and subtract finally. 6 minus 5 is 1 over that same denominator of 10, and 9 minus 3 is 6. So that's my answer. 6 and 1 tenth, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. All right. Let's keep it moving. Problem number three, we have five and one eighth minus two and three eighths. So in this problem here, I'm gonna rewrite it vertically because I can't stand it horizontally, remember? So this is gonna be five and one eighth. Oh, that's an ugly eight, let's fix that. Oh, that's much better. Minus two and three eighths. All right, again with a decent eight. All right, I can take that. From here, notice that we can't take three from one. So we already have a common denominator, so that's not the issue but we can't subtract the three from the one. So that means we'll need to borrow. And so I'll borrow one from the five and make that now a four, and the one will be in the form of the denominator over itself. So remember, we already had a common denominator of eight. If you're gonna borrow any time with a mixed number, you always borrow using the denominator, that common denominator over itself. So remember, eight over eight is just one, right? So that's the one that I borrowed from the five. You can rewrite this as four, and now adding the numerators together, one plus eight gives me nine eighths minus two and three eighths, just like so. Now we can finally subtract these two values. So 9 minus 3 is 6 over that common denominator of 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then I'm going to simplify because the 6 and 8 can both be reduced by 2. So showing that I'm doing that, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to look just like this here. I have now 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. And that gives me my final result, ladies and gentlemen, done and done just like that. All right, that's problem number three. So let's go ahead and move on to problem number four now. In problem number four, I have eight and two thirds minus seven and a half. The first concern we have is changing both of these denominators into a common denominator. The first number that three and two can both go into evenly is six. So I'm gonna rewrite my 
mixed numbers with denominators of 6 now. We need to get those equivalent fractions, so 3 was multiplied twice, so 2 times 2 gives me 4, and then 2 was multiplied 3 times, so 1 times 3 is 3. After I've done that, you can just go ahead and subtract now. So 4 minus 3 is 1 over a denominator of 6, and 8 minus 7 is 1 to give me a result of 1 and 1 6. That's it. All right, let's keep pushing on. In problem number five, ladies and gentlemen, I have 17 minus three and seven eighths. So I'm gonna stack this. I have 17 minus three and seven eighths. Now notice, ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to subtract a fraction from a value that doesn't have a fraction. Well, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, it's appropriate to borrow from the 17. So what I'll do is I'll say that, hey, I'll borrow one from 17 to make this a 16. And remember, we'll use that one in the same form of the denominator over itself. So it's gonna be eight over eight. From there, we'll go ahead and subtract. So I have eight minus seven, which is one, over my common denominator of eight, and then 16 minus three leaves me a result of 13 and one eighths. And that's my answer, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. All right. That completes today's lesson on subtracting mixed numbers. As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you're able, please donate, as that helps us bring you more free math tutorials from Fort Bend Tutoring. Peace. Oh, Lord, there's so many kind of fractions. They got proper, improper, addings, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, Mixed numbers, LCD, ooh, that's like my TV. Simplifying, and my favorite of all, your least common denominator. <laughs> <laughs>